All right, hello, degenerates. So we are finally, um, we finally got on the next patch now, uh, version 2.0 of Smash Ultimate. And I just want to quickly talk about the Duck Hunt changes. There is a shit ton of misinformation going out right now. Um, people not thoroughly really understanding the changes that happened, mostly concerning Clay Pigeon. Can, everybody seems to understand what happened. Um, so with Can, what happened was that the, the fat frames for it are now quicker than what they were before. Uh, this means that Duck Hunt is able to act faster out of launching the can. Um, to give you the exact numbers, first I have to check what they were. <laughs> Hold on a second. Okay, so before, um, can's faff was 46. So now if we go by the frame by frame. Where we start it, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. So 42. Um, wow, he actually got a four frame buff on that. So that's actually pretty significant. Um, this means that um, it'll just feel a lot more natural. You should be able to um, combo in, you should be able to combo out of it actually a lot better now. Um, I think one of the biggest things that, you know, one of the biggest changes they made is that you can hit the can now. So with that four frame reduction, you actually should be able to do things a lot cleaner with that. So um, think about more about hitting the can in the air and just see what kind of cool things you can come up with. So definitely I want to encourage a lot of experimentation around that. Now the big one, uh, Clay Pigeon. So this did go from a faff of 61 to a faff of um, 64. So this means we did get a uh, four frame, we did get a three frame nerf to this. So basically now um, it's a little bit harder to follow up with, uh, but the thing is you can still follow up with it. So one of the things that they changed was the hit lag. It's not the hit stun. When it says hit stun in the patch notes, that's referred to hit lag. Uh, what hit lag is, is first let's hit him with the clay pigeon. So. I'm going to detonate this, and the hit lag is this, the hits in between. So if you notice the moves like Palutena's Nair and some other multi-hit moves, they reduced the hit lag of them. This means that you're not stuck in the move as long as you were before, meaning that the overall flow of the combat is just a lot quicker. So now that the hit lag's been reduced, it's easier for them, it's harder for you to follow up on them, uh, plus the three frame nerf of our FAF makes it a little bit trickier. Um, but what this does overall is it makes Clay Pigeon about as, um, easy to combo off of as it was in Smash 4, but even a little bit better than that because, you know, now we have the multi-hits at the end of it before we didn't have the particle effects, which is honestly big, so it does keep them there a little bit longer than it did in Smash 4. And the other thing, too, is that this is still two frames quicker than it was in Smash 4, so um, the clay pitch and follow-ups that you would do in that game are still easily possible to do. Let me just go back here. Oh god, why am I? I'm fucking up my short hops really bad. <laughs> Hold up. And I missed my dash. But overall, your clay pigeon combos are still gonna work the same. Just make sure you delay your detonation enough, and then you'll be okay. Like, there wasn't true, but. Um, you can still do the CP chains. But you're gonna need to get them to like 50% first. So, low percents, do that to grab and then you'll still be able to get your small little combos off of it. Okay, see there. Now I got the combo working. Hands are just a little bit cold right now, so please forgive me for that. Um, but yeah, when you get Cloud to about 50%, then you're able to do the CP chains. Before, like, previous games, like in Smash 4, you were never... Oh wow, I did player 1 damage. <laughs> Not bad. Um, but yeah, like in... Um, So like in Smash 4, you could do CP chains, but you needed to get them to like 50% before you could really um, start doing them. But as you can see, the, the window on it is a lot tighter than it used to be. Yeah. Yeah, so as you can see right there, CP chains are still entirely possible. It's just, it depends on how you short hop it. So like there, I didn't do it properly, so um, it technically wasn't a true combo. What you need to do is you need to buffer the short hop, like that. 
and then there. Um, I could have probably chained together five there. Oh, yeah, there I went too early because the new path. But if you're used to doing the Clay Pigeon combos back in um, Smash 4, you're going to feel right at home here. It's just, it's a little bit easier to do than it was in that game, so. Overall, not really a bad chain. It just kind of separates the people that were carried by Pigeon combos versus the people that could always do them back in Smash 4. So, no real worries there. You're still able to do this to back air. So, our Alcaro confirms off of this are still in there. So, like, there you see, we had a lot of time to get back after that. You can still do the up air. And that includes the up air drag down. So, so don't feel like those combos are out of this game at all. Except I never really practiced the drag down combo, so. I have to get into a little bit higher percent. But yeah, no, clay pigeon combos, you can still chain them together, you can still get your aerials off of it. Just make sure that you know how to delay your pigeon properly in order to pull off these combos. And either way, like, if you notice, you didn't have too much stage generally when you were landing these, so... Most of the time you should have been going for aerials in the first place. You can still do clay pigeon to down air. Um, yeah, see, wow, that, I didn't even need to hit the first hit and it still comboed. <laughs> so don't feel like those are gone. Um, they can probably DI out of them, so be a, be ready for situations like that to pop up. But yeah, Clay Pigeon down air. If you hit them with a Clay Pigeon at the ledge, you're probably going to be holding in. Only if they really know the matchup, I think they'll be holding out, which they may be able to get out of. But the knockback is still reduced from it, so that's why it's still easier to combo off of Clay Pigeon in this game versus um, Smash 4. So, you know, brief recap, Clan, uh, Can got a uh, four-frame FAF reduction, which is really good, actually. Then uh, Clay Pigeon... It did get a three frame uh, nerf to it in terms of faff and then the hit lags less so it's a little bit tighter to follow up. But overall compared to Smash 4, because the knockback is reduced from Smash 4, it's still much easier to follow up than it was in that game. You're still able to chain K pigeons together. It still counters attacks, so um, you know, if I put Cloud and Control real quick. Oh. Let me put this in the frame settings real quick. So, so if I do that, I don't think that's gonna break it. Okay. Hold up. I need. I need to time this better. <laughs> So, okay, Clay Pigeon, and he ran. <laughs> oh yeah, I can just make him dash attack it. Let's do that. Why did you Clay Pigeon that one? <laughs> I did the right, okay, hold up. Okay, now we are ready. And he did dash, he did smash. Actually, I might be able to make him break it on the ground still. Oh wait, oh, I'll just make him do down tilt. There we go. Oh, now went the opposite direction. Yeah, see, so the clay pigeon still counters hits like that. So overall, you're not, that buff is still in here from the previous game, so. Overall, clay pigeon's still a lot better than it was in Smash 4. The combos are just slightly easier than they were in Smash 4. But still a little bit tighter. It's not going to be as easy as it was pre-patch. So just make sure you learn your timings for it. All those combos are still in here. So, you know, everybody's saying, oh, Clifford is completely dead. No, it's not. Just don't be stupid and throw this out in neutral. This was never really much of a neutral tool. It can still control the ground. So people are still going to be caught in shield if they jump. It's still going to catch them. So it does have its uses there. But it, it was never a move that you really should be spamming just because the reward off of it was so good. And the reward off of it's still very good. It's just you're actually going to need to practice your clay pigeon combos in order to pull them off in a match, um, at least for the highest optimal damage and whatnot. Clay Pigeon, a back air, up air, and air, that, that's still pretty easy to do. And down air. Like, down air is actually like legitimately easy to get in this game, so you're not going to really have to be worried about getting those. You'll still be able to kill heavies early. They'll never get out of those. Fast Fallers are the ones that you're really going to have to worry about. Floaties, you just need to know how to aim it for the weight class. 
and you'll be okay. And uh, before I go, I do want to talk about briefly about why I haven't been posting for a while. You guys know I was in Japan. I wasn't really able to do much there, um, but I did record a lot of video footage of Japan itself. I posted most of my videos from the that I recorded of matches. I think I would post it all of them at this point. Um, so I hope those have been able to help you guys out. Um, I'm definitely going to post a recap of my Japan trip, tips for you guys traveling there, um, about the Smash tournaments and how they run them, things that they do better there, and what I think about them compared to American tournaments. So I definitely want to cover that. Um, and then also just show off all the vlogs that I did while I was there. So, so sorry I didn't get those uploaded, but you know, it just kind of distracted the generalness of Japan. Um, and then uh, going forward into the future, I will make more Smash content. It's definitely going to be delayed until I finish Kingdom Hearts 3. It's just I saw so many people complaining about duck hunt changes in the Discord. I'm like, I need to make this video because y'all giving me tumors. <laughs> it's bad. Um, so I made this video clear you guys up. So after I beat Kingdom Hearts 3, I'll be back on the Smash content grind. I don't know how often I'll be able to post just because I don't know what my job schedule is going to be like 100%. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I am going to be working at Disney in the college program. So I will be, um, I don't know what exactly my general work schedule is like. So once I know that, I'll know how often I'll be able to post. But, you know, definitely look forward to future content. Probably won't be as abundant as it was uh, leading up to the release and that first month of Smash. Um, just because I don't think I'll have as much free time. I definitely won't have as much free time as I did back then. Um, but yeah, I hope to do that. Um, hopefully the connection here is good enough for streaming. But don't, don't uh, plan on streaming this to happen that often. But... I'll see what I can do. And with that said, um, that should be everything. So hope you found this helpful. Uh, let me know what you want me to see in the future. And with that said, take care.